All right, hey guys. Uh, I'm gonna film this one myself, so bear with me. Just give you an idea of what we've got going on. Uh, this guy here is actually a lemon cucumber. Kind of about the size of the baseball when they're all said and done. It's yellow. Cucumber with lemon flavor. I guess, hence the name. Um, but basically what I want to show you guys today is the hydroponic hops that we've got we've got growing. This here, carrots, uh, some coffee, different things. But the main project we're really excited about is the uh, hydroponic hops. As you can tell, we've got one variety here doing quite well. Reach the ceiling and doing quite well. And uh, so a few different strains. We've got actually four different strains, uh, six different buckets here, uh, or five different strains, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to give you a rundown of what we got going on. Uh, this first guy here, Fugle, is a Fugle hop. This one we're actually not sure, we might be having virus issues. As you can see some of the modeling on these leaves. You can see the dark circle patches there. That's typically common with the mosaic type variety. So we're really watching these guys. Um, we've had deficiency problems. Uh, nothing in particular, just actually underfeeding these guys immensely. We are at about 1.1, 1.2 for a while. Come to find out that's much, much too low. Boosted them to two and they're really starting to do better. So um, this guy here is actually a clone off of the Nugget Hop. Uh, the larger hop here, the one that's doing very well. Uh, this here is the Nugget. So that smaller guy was a clone taken taken here from this, this plant. Which you can already tell the vigor in that certain pedigree. The clone is actually doing comparably well to, uh, to some of the other first starts. So yeah, here's the nugget. And again, it's, it's, it's starting to, uh, it's really starting to produce cones. Um, they're much more, much more dense, larger cones, kind of as you go up. Uh, the wind's kind of blowing it around here. But this one's doing very well. Um, it's peaked out at about three to four meters, which is kind of typical to this pedigree. Uh, you know, about 12 foot max. Um, so, so yeah, this plant's doing very well. That's definitely our, our favorite strain so far. But like I said, we've been underfeeding these, so it's not a fair assessment. Um, this guy here is Mount Hood. So as you can see, nothing very impressive out of this, but it's finally starting to come back. So like I said, in a few weeks, I'll give you an update and these should all be reaching the ceiling. This is an interesting variety, it's Sunbeam, and the name is actually appropriately given due to this color. I know it looks very pale, almost maybe a deficiency, but that's actually, that chartreuse color is actually bred into it. It's supposed to look like that, which took us a while to figure out. This guy here on the end, I believe, is Horizon. Yeah, Horizon. Um, this one in particular is showing kind of like the, the first Fugal variety. This one's showing some unique symptoms, um, unlike the other ones. This one's showing very unique, if I can zoom in on this. Uh, this one shows very unique curling. Again, I don't know if you can actually get that picture there. Uh, maybe not. But the leaf pattern is showing distinct curling. There you go. I think you might be able to see it there. Hey. So this one's obviously having some struggles, but again, after boosting up the nutrients, it's really starting to kind of fill in. So yeah, I mean, this was our first trial. We just wanted to see how well hops can be done hydroponically, what kind of harvests we can expect. And it was definitely a learning curve. Um, they definitely do not want to be wet, so we had to use a very light medium. Um, and actually, the medium we're using now, it's uh, something we've created or just threw together, not really created. Uh, it's just it's hydrogen, perlite, coconut. Uh, there's some bat guano in there, along with some humates, uh, dried seaweed, just different things for a slow release um, fertilizer. But like we said, we really needed to boost that up. And if we were to do it again, I would probably add much more hydrogen or, uh, or perlite, something to give it a little bit quicker of drainage. So there you go. That's our hops project. And keep with us. And I'll post, I'll post an update, kind of how we've gone. And thanks for joining.